Well, you athletes out there, I'm WWE superstar Becky Lynch. And I'm Dylan Landon, your Special Olympics personal trainer and fitness expert. So whether you're getting ready for an event or just trying to stay healthy at home, we're going to show you some exercises that get you strong while having fun too. Welcome to Special Olympics School of Strength. In this video series, we're going to introduce you to a bunch of Special Olympics athletes who are going to show you some pretty cool workout moves. You'll build confidence while making your body as strong or nearly as strong as me. So get ready because class is in session. Welcome to the School of Strength where we have three levels of videos. Superstar trainer, champion trainer, and the highest level in the School of Strength, Master Trainer! Yeah, 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 yeah. Working out with these videos five times a week will help you stay fit and reach your athletic goals. Just watch the videos once a day, or if that's too easy, as you watch the videos, do the exercises two to three times per video. To get things started, we got Special Olympics athletes right here in the ring to help us demonstrate some of those exercises. Please welcome Stephanie Ching. Woohoo! Oh yeah, go for it. And we got Greg Deemer. You guys ready to get started? Yes. Oh, Woo! Yeah. You guys ready? Let's do it. The exercise we're about to do right now is great to warm up before practice or competition. Warming up prepared your muscles for exercise. So you get the most out of your workout and avoid injury. Yes, so if we're ready to get started, we're gonna warm our bodies up with our first exercise, arm circles. Okay, to begin, stretch your arms out to the side wide, and we're gonna do big forward circles to loosen our muscles. Let's do 10, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and 10. You know, this motion might seem familiar because it's what we do in the pool when we do the butterfly stroke, which our swimmer, Stephanie, knows all about. Sure, yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's get crazy now and do the same thing, but backwards. Another 10, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and 10. Amazing job, everybody. You should feel it in your shoulders, your arms, and your back. We're loosened up. You guys feeling good? Feeling loose? Yes, yes we're I'm feeling good. loose. All right, let's move on to the lower body with some leg swings. What we want to do to make these really effective is find a wall or a chair. We're going to use the ropes here as our wall. So go ahead, put your left hand on there for support. We're going to use our right legs swinging first, which means our left legs are going to be on the ground. So the other arm is going to be out for balance. We're going to kick our right leg up and back and swing it forward for 10. Here we go. And one, two. Being three, flexible helped me compete four, in Taekwondo. That's right, it does. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Leg swings are amazing to stretch your hips and legs and overall help with your flexibility throughout your whole life. So it's always a great thing to remember to do. And now it's time to swing them side to side. So now we're going to face the wall or the chair, left leg on the ground still, right leg in the air, and let's swing them for another 10. Here we go. And one, like a pendulum or a clock basically, tick tock. Excellent job. Side to side, side to side, side to side. Here we go. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Great job, but we're not done there because now we got to do the other leg, right? So let's face the original direction. Excellent job. We're going to keep our right leg on the ground using our left leg. Let's kick it back. One, two, three, four, five. You want to get it as high as you can. The more flexible, the better. Front, back. Front, back. Nine and 10. And finally, to wrap up the leg swings, go ahead, face the wall, both hands out, left leg in the air, and swing it. Swing, 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 swing. Very good, looking great. Let's finish up strong. Here we go in eight. Nine, 
10, give yourselves a round of applause. Great job, that is how you do leg swings. You guys ready to move on to the next stretch? Yeah. Oh yes. Okay, it's time for our final exercise, trunk twist. Keep your feet firmly on the ground, flat, shoulder width apart, arms out to the side, and we're gonna move our bodies, just the top portion, side to side. And we're gonna rotate them 20 times in total. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. And a trainer tip, if anything ever hurts, just stop what you're doing and go at your own pace. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake oh, it yeah. out. Warmed up at last. Yes, you did. So that's two sets of arm circles, two sets of leg swings, and 20 trunk twists. Remember, the more you practice these videos, the better you're gonna get at all the exercises. But before we're finished, one more important thing to do. Ah, rehydrate. Make sure you drink water after every workout. And pause the video to take a drink whenever you're thirsty. And that's it for today. Make sure to rewatch this video anytime you want to warm up for a workout or cool down after. So go out there and get fit. Cheers. Cheers. Woo